what's going on everybody we're just out here on the trail and figured it would be a really good opportunity to kind of give you a rundown of my 2017 f-150 overland build we'll talk about my suspension setup um my rack my tent um all that kind of good stuff for wheels and tires we're running the nitto ridge grapplers 33 by 12 and a half on um some fuel 17 inch wheels this is just leveled so I actually kind of went the cheap budget route and went with two inch uh, like hockey puck leveling spacers in the front. On the rear, so I went with the Bilstein. I'll have a link to those in the description. Added a, a one and a half inch block to bring the back up a little bit. So a few other things. So obviously I have an aftermarket front bumper. This is the DV8 off-road bumper. It's got a nice front skid plate. Also aftermarket shackles in the front here. I took out the factory tow hooks. They actually didn't fit with this bumper. So this is these are the Rough Country. It's the Rough Country kit. It was pretty cheap and it works. I wanted to keep recovery points. So as far as exterior lighting goes, obviously there's the light bar in the front bumper. Some amber pods on the hood here. Those are nice ditch lights. And in the back here, I have two pods on my rack these are great um you know for reverse at night also they flash amber so they're great for you know if someone's behind you you can i can angle them down when i'm cooking on my tailgate things like that it's it's pretty great at night and then also i have these amber flush mounts in my in my rear bumper and i have all of these lights wired independently on an auxiliary switch i'll show you what that looks like so this is an aux beam auxiliary switch that I got. I'll have a link to this in the description as well. Um, it's got, it's a six port. I think they also make an eight, um, an eight, eight, eight panel one. This is the six panel. Um, so I, I'm not only using four hood, uh, hood pod lights on this, my front light bar, uh, my backup lights and my bumper, those flush mount ones. And then I also have my rack lights on here as well. While we're in here also, so my communication setup. So I have a, a Midland um, kind of all-in-one unit here. So all, every, all, the, all the controls are done through the actual microphone. And then there's just a little box up here that the actual microphone plugs into. And I went and hardwired that in. I actually went into my 12-volt um, my cigarette lighter. As far as the other parts on the outside of the truck, I went ahead and went with these go rhino rock sliders these are a nice option they're not body mounted they're mounted on the rocker where the factory um steps are um but these are definitely a lot more durable i've i've, I've used them i've slid on some rocks and and some dirt and whatnot they definitely um, hold up pretty well they're not quite full cab length um and i really wish they were a bit longer cover the truck bed in the rear there also forgot to mention, so this uh, F-150 is the FX4 package, which is nice. It came with the factory skid plates underneath and the rear locker. So as far as my bed goes, my rack setup, I'll kind of walk you through all that. So first and foremost, this is the RCI off-road 12 inch rack. So I've got the Max tracks on the side here. These are mounted on the Max tracks mounting pins. Um, and RCI Off-Road actually makes a mounting bracket for the pin specifically. So you can see here I have the RCI mounting bracket on the rack. And then the Max Trax pins are in that. And then on the inside of the side of the rack, so this is my camp shower. So I put this together with a bunch of PVC or ABS actually. Um, don't drink out of this. Do not drink out of ABS, but it's great for... For showering, washing dishes, things like that. I uh, have a pressure gauge. Uh, I put a radiator drain caulk in here to relieve pressure. Um, I can pressurize it using the Schrader valve. So on the other side of the rack, let's go with the outside first. So I have a couple Rotopax canisters up here. Um, you got a two gallon water. Um, I typically don't use this. I keep it full with distilled water. It's kind of my emergency water if I needed to use it for coolant or something like that. Um, then obviously I have a two gallon uh, fuel canister here. Um, these are on the Rotopax locking mounts, um, which these are just directly mounted into the RCI rack here. 
And then on the inside, I have a high lift jack. Uh, RCI makes a high lift mounting bracket. So it's mounted on that, which is really nice. It's super sturdy. I love it. Um, and then also have the high lift off-road base uh, mounted into the high lift itself and um, high lift uh, handle keeper down there. Just kind of a quick overview of the other stuff in the bed. So I have a quick pop-up uh, canopy here. Um, this is great. It, it just, I have some straps holding it down on the side of the bed. Um, and then I have a 20 liter um, water, fresh water uh, canister here. I have a 10 gallon propane tank mounted back here, which I love. So nice to have a big canister and not have to deal with the little one pounders. Um, I just have this mounted on a quick fist adjustable ratchet strap mount. I had to, uh, I installed it with some um, screw and rivets into the truck bed, but it's great. It holds up great here. Um, I love it. On the top of the rack, we have the Smitty built. I think it's just the Overlander tent. Um, this thing's great. It's a great entry level tent. I don't know about other tents, but if you get the Smitty built tent, you got to get like a two inch memory foam topper and leave it in there. You can still fold it. I have in there, I have my sleeping bag and a pillow. Um, and obviously the memory foam topper and it fits, it's, it's tight. It's, it's kind of, kind of hard to crank it down, but, um, you got to do it. It's so worth it. I have the deck system in here. I absolutely love this. It is super great for a multitude of things. Um, it's got two full bed length pullout drawers. You can put a lot of stuff in here. Um, like I, like I said, we'll get into the, the specific gear in a later video. And this one, I got a bunch of stuff, kitchen, tools, compressor. There's a camping toilet back there, some other stuff. So also, not only does the deck system give you the two full-size drawers, but it also has these little, they call these the ammo boxes. Um, it really just kind of fills the extra gap. Um, I just keep a bunch of recovery gear in these. There's four of them. There's one, um, there's two on the, the back of the bed and two in the front corners. I keep a bunch of ratchet straps and, and uh, toe straps and stuff in there and shackles and whatnot. So in the back seats, this is some cool stuff in here. We have a Jackery plugged in the back here. Um, this is my fridge. It's plugged into the Jackery. Jackery is charging from my 12 volt adapter back here. This is the Jackery Explorer 300. It's, it's absolutely great. <laughs> I'm in no way sponsored by Jackery, but I bought this thing, I love it. So on the other side here, obviously we have the fridge here. This is the, uh, this is an Alpi Cool, Alpi Cool, I think. Um, this is a 45 quart, it was like 300 bucks. I mean, this thing was a great deal. Um, you know, I was running a, a Yeti cooler before, um, but I had, like I said, I bought the Jackery and I was like, well, I should get a fridge, why not? You know, so, and, and it works great, especially for the price. I think like Summit Racing uses the same one. It's It's branded. Summit Racing, but it's the same exact fridge. Um, this has a LG compressor in it, so it's pretty pretty reliable. It's been reliable for me so far. Uh, also in the back here, have a little Molly panel with some stuff in it, random tools, um, a first aid kit over here. It's like a trauma kit. And on the back of the passenger seat, I have a bigger Molly panel. This is the Grayman Tactical. Actually, they're both Grayman Tactical uh, panels. This one, I have some water. I have my, uh, I have a Smitty built tire deflator mounted here. Fire extinguisher, gotta have one of those. I have all my toiletries in there. Another first aid kit. This is more general purpose. My trauma kit's over there. Also just kind of keep all of our filming stuff back here. Drone, GoPro stuff, batteries, all that kind of good stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's the whole rig. Any questions, anything like that, drop a comment below. We'll, we'll respond to you. Like I said, I'll have the links to all these products in the description if you want to check any of them out. And I appreciate it. If you like the videos you're putting out, please consider subscribing. It really helps support the channel. See you guys later.